what what's very clear is that Watson is focused on the future and on cognitive learning and cognitive yes. computing. Because of that, uh, we feel that we can leverage the natural language processing capabilities which are embedded within Watson. So we believe that we can take extremely large amounts of content so residing in structured and unstructured format yep. within EMR and other systems. Uh, we take that, we index it, we make it more manageable. And then my goal is that if we can put Watson on top of it, and then we do basic searching right. and basic da data massaging, uh, uh, tagging, categorization, all that gets done by us. At that point, the result of our search or our tagging or our indexing, that's what now gets ingested into Watson for some very high level analytics. So it's not going to be something which is quick and dirty, which we are going to build with Watson. Mm -hmm. It will be a pretty sophisticated application. Uh, think of Watson, it's like a PhD student. Yeah. Which is who has just graduated and entered <laughs> the world, right? So that person is not going to be doing simple things, otherwise right. it's a waste of time. So we need to figure out extremely difficult problems to solve uh, with Watson. And I, if we can figure out uh, together working with Watson, uh, what it is, um, you know, what are the questions that we can answer right. through that, right? So I think the technology is there. So this is this becomes more of a product layer question. Okay. as to what is the market need. But it's impossible that there is no market need for such extremely vast amounts of data. That's just not possible.